All right, so today we are working on protecting the chickens. Last Monday, we actually had a fox attack. Uh, the second since we've owned uh, chickens on this property. The first one happened, oh gosh, a good, at least six months ago, possibly more. And the first, we, we, it actually happened over two days. We lost a couple of birds when we accidentally left the gate to the space open. Um, and so the fox came in pro sometime during the afternoon and did away with all of them. Not, well, not all of our flock, but uh, a number of birds. All we found was feathers. And then the next day, even though the gate was closed, we found that a couple more birds had disappeared. And so that, at that point, uh, we knew that, you know, we had a problem with what we had at the time, which was uh, a very sturdy coop and run that they stay in at night. But during the day, they had just a four foot field fencing that you can see all along the perimeter. And that was not enough to keep what we think was probably a fox, just based on the fact that all we found were feathers, uh, was not enough to keep the fox at bay. So I put a single strand of electric wire uh, hooked up to a two mile power, so sort of the, the smallest, cheapest solar powered uh, electric fence controller. And that seemed to work for, again, for about six months, maybe more, uh, until last Monday when we, uh, uh, sometime in the morning, about over the course of about an hour and a half, which was the time between when their coop automatically opens up and when I came out to actually feed and water them. So we lost four more, three, hen three roosters and one hen, uh, which leaves us with an even ratio of three hens and three roosters at the moment. Uh, we, we are allowing uh, the hens that go broody to hatch out some of their eggs or some of the eggs we put under them. So, of course, we have a lot of roosters at the moment. Um, we're going to even that out with some pullets this spring, and at some point we might have to consider uh, culling some of the flock if it turns out that the roosters are um, not healthy for the community as a whole here. Um, but in order to protect from future fox attacks, because I really don't want to lose any more of these birds to any kind of predator, really, but you know, when they're under your protection, it's always hard to lose uh, any of them. So I'm going to be adding uh, some strands of wire above the electrified wire. So you can see they're wrapped around here. So those are not electrified. Uh, the idea being that if something does try to jump, it would have trouble missing uh, both the electrified wire um, and the wire above it, which means that it should get shocked b between the live wire and the ground wire. And those will go up all the way to five to six feet um, here. So we're, we're hoping that that'll be enough to really keep the fox from jumping over. In addition to that, I'll be stringing a wire, an electrified wire, along the outside of the fence around knee height, with the idea that once a, a, an animal, once a wild animal gets shocked a couple times, it is leery of even approaching the fence. So I'm hoping that that'll keep it, them from, you know, trying to jump the six foot fence, trying to climb, find a way around the upper wire, um, and also from trying to dig under. I'd really rather not do what you can do to prevent digs under, which is to lay down wire all along the outside here. So I'd have to lay down fencing wire on the ground and then bury it. And that's a ton of work. So I'm hoping that keeping the wire uh, at, at knee level will create a psychological barrier. Um, and of course, I'll be walking the fence line regularly to make sure that no holes are developing along the outside. Hopefully that'll be enough. 